Welcome back to Educator.com. We have a, another lesson in Intermediate C++. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about some typing that can be done with uh, C++. Uh, we will discuss a few more types. Uh, some some for, are, are good to use, not so much. Some are just left over from C. Um, there's a uh, union right, which allows you to, to store different types of data in the same memory which has a few issues involved which we will talk about so we'll talk about the cautions for those and particularly platform dependency so you think ah, I got this code is working beautifully on my PC at home and you go load it up to, to a Linux machine and everything crashes and particularly if you're depending on unions just for such and we talk about the enum where you get a list of constants that we can use and we have a type def which is a, a, a C uh, legacy thing which was kind of necessary it's not as necessary in C++ um, which you know allows you to create types from types but you kind of have to know about it since there are things in C that you need to, to, to still use and still work with so we'll have some cautions on that on the underlying type uh, we'll have some more detail on the const keyword which we have already seen without actually just talking much about and We'll have the const variables, const object methods, and an introduction to the mutable keyword. And so we're going to have uh, some more kinds of uh, C++ types. You know, C++, if, if you don't know, it's a, it's a hybrid between, some, some folks say it's a strongly typed language, some folks say, well, not really. It's kind of a hybrid between strong type and weak type. Um, it's got some strong type conventions that you can use to let the compiler enforce type safety for you. But it allows some shortcuts for those in the know. But who's in the know? That's where it gets careful. So my personal recommendation, avoid the shortcuts. Um, let the compiler do its type checking job. Write your code in such a manner as that the compiler can do type checking for you. Now, especially when you don't know what you're doing, you're new at this sort of stuff. Um, it's real easy to make mistakes, um, but especially when you think you know what you're doing. There's a lot of people out there who think that we put a shortcut here and we can do a type cache there and do all this wonderful stuff to, to circumvent the compiler's type checking and the code will work for months and months and months until someone puts it somewhere else and everything crashes or you, you, you load it on, on even on the identical same machine just slightly configured differently and, and everything stops working. So if a shortcut is necessary Use that shortcut with caution. Because the compiler type checking is there for a reason. It's to help you prevent, try to prevent you from shooting yourself in the foot. Double check your design. Make sure that the shortcut really is necessary because it might be there's a better way to do it using the compiler ways of type checking.